All right, guys, come in for a sec. Just quickly, I want to explain the session plan, what we're going to do for this session. <clears throat> so what we're looking at, a session objective is to score goals, breaking through the middle third in BP is uh, ball possession, and our aim is to maintain ball possession. So we're going to, our main moment is the ball possession, obviously, uh, with a structured build-up playing out from the back through the middle third in control possession. Uh, first touch, to create space, passing opportunities, and then create a 1v1 scoring chance. We don't have to score, but create that chance. So that's our four skills. Our four skills is first touch, running with the ball, which is positioning. And now it's important to remember, running with the ball and running without the ball is just as important. The positioning and scanning is important when you're off the ball also. So um, we move into the striking the ball, which is it's called striking, but it's actually passing as well, and then the 1v1. So we're going to start off with um, a little drill. It's a passing drill, but that's going to help, hopefully um, help you guys identify the uh, PDE, which I want to focus on as well. PDE is perception, decision, and execution. So what that means is you're going to have um, three, three groups. We're going to have three, sorry, five groups of three players, and we're going to have um, a scoring method, and that's going to be we want to eliminate the opposing team um, by kicking the ball hard in that area, and if, that, if they can't control it in that area, the ball goes out, well, then that team gets eliminated, right? So we know how to do that. The ball can't be passed back to where it came from, so you want to keep moving the ball around to other areas. Um, the last two gr groups left in this exercise will go ahead and play the other training game that we've got set up. Um, this is skill introduction, and that one, the next one is a skill training game that we'll have set up, and post that will be the training game itself. So what I'm looking for is PDE, is the perception, the decision making and execution now of each three each group but the three players in each group will decide who's going to stop the ball control it who's going to lay it off and who's going to execute the pass is that all is that all okay guys any questions no. okay let's move into it quickly get in your groups we'll, we'll start with two balls so matthew you start with that ball right Okay, guys, listen up. Orlando, your group. So listen, when you first start, first touch, you can kick it straight out. You don't have to take three touches and then play it, okay? So you can play. The aim of this game is to do the PDE, the core skills, first touch, lay it off, execute. But you want to try and force the error. Guys listening? You want to try and force the error from the other groups, okay? Let's give that a go. Go. Okay, that group, that group's out over there. Keep going, play on. That group's out. You just swap over, swap over. You sit. Continue. We're playing live. Three groups left. Let's go. Okay, yeah, that group's out. You group middle. Middle, and now you've got your two groups, you guys against you guys, go! Oh, play on, play on! Play on! Play on! Okay, okay, out! So this group wins that round. Okay, everyone back in. Stay in the, your group. So you guys swap over in the middle. No, no, no. Stay in there. Stay in there. Daniel, you guys go over there. All right, you guys up. We'll try one more time before we move into the, the other scenario. Okay. Start. Keep it moving quickly, guys. Keep moving. Decision making. Play on, play on. 
Okay, don't worry, just play that one again. I missed it. Play on. That group's out, middle group's out. Come over here and sit down. Play on, play on, Alex. <coughs> kick it, quick, we got time limit. Who kicked it out? Kicked it out to you guys. All right, they're out. You guys are out. Sit. Okay, let's go. Three groups left. Play on. Keep going, keep going. Alright, that group's out. Last team. No, you need to get shot. These guys win. All right, wait, but it's okay. This group and this group, we move over to the next group. Come on, let's go over there. Yeah, let's go over there to the. Well, you just we'll have to grab the cones, pull them out a bit bigger, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the teams you just you just finished up there, we're going to do the same same drill. So we'll get. Okay. Guys. So guys, <clears throat> what we're going to do now is called skill training. So the last two teams, oh sorry, the last two teams remaining that were there, they're going to start. The other two teams are going to sit on the side and you're going to pick a player each. So um, you, you've got a player from one of your group, um, you, you'll bring him in as an opponent and he'll stay in the middle. So you want to intercept the play. So those two groups, you're going to form uh, three and I'm going to pick one more player each. So we want four in this, in this instance and four in that one. So we're going to have uh, four groups of four and we have two opponents in the middle, right? So it's like a bit of a dodgeball game. So the, the idea of this is to, again, force the error from the op opposing team. You want to force the error using the PDE, the same thing we just did over there, the PDE being perception, decision, execution. So we want to pass the ball to the opposite uh, side with three touches. You're going to have four in one group, so you're going to decide which three are going to touch it. Everyone must touch the ball in the next, next play. You can't just leave one guy to always constantly kick the other ones are missing out. Okay. Um, okay, well, let's, let's start that. The first groups that, that won that, let's go over here. And the other group over there. All right. Form four. And we'll form, yep. Four. Uh, Leo, Gabe, we've got to pick someone. You're in We get on. Oi, someone. Okay. Lucas. Okay, Lucas, you, got, did you, you guys go, go in that end one. So let me just take this out of the way. Yeah, 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 four, four. Yep. All right, so there's four there. There's four, one, two, three, and Miro, four. So which, which team is yours? Okay, so so Ethan, you if you touch the ball, you intercept it, your team comes in, you swap over, quick transition. Well, then, then you know what? I'll let you know. We might even then play on, then no one gets it. They continue. They don't go out, okay? All right, guys. All right, now, do you see, do you see the lines? So this area here, and you got that area there. All right, let's go. Okay, go. All right, you got to control it. You want to grab another ball, please? That's all right, Nick. Leave that one out there. Okay, go. 
All right, listen. All right, swap over, swap. Next team in. You, we'll, we'll start again. Keep going. All right, continue. Because, Carlo, you want to control it in your quadrant. You can't let it go out. No, that's, that's, that's your ball. Your team comes in. Leo's team. Because you can't run into the back line. Okay. Go, play. Play. All right, this team's out. Yeah, your, your team. Whoever stopped that play, swap over. No one? We've got a ball. All right, grab a ball, Daniel. Go, play. He's in there. You can't be inside this quadrant. No, nah, play on, play on, he didn't control it. Play on. That's it, you guys are out. Next group, switch in. You've won one, okay. So the, guys, the, win, the winners have to get three consecutive wins. They've got one win on the board. Go. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the ball, he's got the ball. Their team goes in. Play, play. Whoever ends up with the ball is the winning side. Okay, this team's out. You're going to get three consecutive wins. <laughs> Go, play. That's out. This team's out. You got one win. That's in. That team's out. Your team's out. It was in the quadrant. Hey, you start again. Go okay, play, play. Now this the, the winning team starts. Play, Alex. That's in. No, it's in the quadrant. How many wins have you got? That third win. All right, we'll do it again. You got two wins. No, no, two wins. Two wins. Redo. Control. Play on. I didn't see it. <laughs> Take your time. Think about your passing. Yeah, but you have to control it. You can't kick it out. Pl continue. No, continue. No, no win yet. No. This group winners. Three wins. Winners. All right. Well done, guys. All right, guys. Just, just, just quickly, we're going to move into the third one, which is the um, the game. If you want to just move in here, please, and I'll let you know what we're doing. So, hopefully, you guys can <clears throat> see that. Okay. So, what this one is is the uh, skill game. It's the last one of the um, of the session, and what we want to do here is, the, or the rules are, each player stays in their zone. So, we've got seven v seven. And each player stays. So we've got two defenders, two. Well, we've got a two-three-two, two. two defenders, or two in the in the third zone, uh, final third, um, three in the middle, three midfielders, and two up front. 
And in the other team, we've got exactly the same with two in the back, three mids and two forwards. Uh, the ones with the goalkeeper, our goalkeeper in the front, is a big goal. So we score a goal there. That's obviously one goal. The other guys are just two small goals, which you can see the, uh, sorry, the yellow cones. So two goals there. So two, a goal in there is worth two goals. So we're going to play for 10, maybe 15 minutes. And this is the final one. We want to utilize all our PDE that we learned in the first two drills. Uh, PDE, you know, the, I'll, I'll repeat it. So it's perception, decision making and execution. One thing in this is overload. We want to create an overload for forcing a 1v1 situ situation with uh, perhaps the goalkeeper or the um, one of the other defenders. So by doing that, one of the midfielders, if they pass a ball through to the forward line, they can join the attack. Everyone else must stay in their zones. If that attack is not successful, the goalkeeper gets it, for instance, that player drops back into his area. Same with uh, the, the red team, for instance, or the orange bibs, they can move forward. If they pass a ball forward to the, um, um, their, their zone, they can move into that attacking area and also create an overload of 3v2. The reason for this is we want to create the 1v1. We want to create um, a scoring opportunity and we want to uh, create the overloads uh, on both sides. So let's try that and if there's any issues, or if you've got any, any questions now, anyone? No. All right, so let's try that. Guys, pick, a couple of guys pick up bibs, where the bibs are, and just stand, just stand in that position for a minute. Stand in position and just do a couple of stretches now for these guys, some dynamic stretching before we get going, okay? All, the, all of the, uh, listen up guys, and all of the, all of the games, all the balls will start from this end of the ground. Okay. Now we've got the cones, this area here, the white cones, the back here, that's, that's the one third. We've got the middle third and the last final third is including the goal itself. All right. So you want to pass the other ball back, Lucas? Pass it back here, please. Okay, we'll do this. We'll start off. There we go. If we need to change, we will. All right. All right, one goal. Let's start over here. Quick transition. Start again. One goal for the yellow team. Play it. Play on. You can join the attack now, Leo. All right, Matthew, you can join the attack now. Daniel drops. Okay. Matt, stop. Hold it there. Back from here. Ethan, start. Good. Join the attack. Join the attack, Daniel. Nice Great play. Okay, let's start back here again. If we get one more goal, third goal, we'll switch teams. Switch sides. Okay, balls out now. Come back into your areas. Okay, wait. Can, you, can I have the ball, please? Guys, so, so what, what we're going to do is, I just want to, 
Do we all, are we all clear on what we're trying to do, how we're trying to get to that, that area there? Yeah. How is it? Daniel, do you know? Um, it's working pretty well. You can open up the space in the middle. Yeah, perfect. We'll open up. And now, joining, joining the attack, you guys want to spread out. And also with, with um, you two guys in the yellow, you want to spread out and, and draw your defender with you. You draw your defender with you, and we're going to create... Let's say Daniel has the ball. I'll, I'll show you. I'll play with it, and I play it off to... Lucas, uh, sorry, Nick, you want to run out there? So now I've got the ball here, and now if I'm coming close, he might come over. We're going to force the overload. So I pass it through, and now I'm going to run in and join the attack. So now we're forcing the 3v2. And that's the overload 3v2. Essentially, it's going to be 1v1 against the goalkeeper, and that's what we want to try and achieve. So let's try that again. We'll start off back down there. Okay, go guys. Three more minutes, we'll swap. Okay, Lando joined the attack. You got it. You can you can score in there. Play on. Play on, play on. Okay, two goals. Let's go. Next one's winning goal. So we've got two goals this end, two goals on this end. Let's go take a ball from the back. Start from the back. He is just on the line, yep. It's a save. Okay, Matthew, you're out now. No. Okay. Hold it there. Guys, Matthew, you joined the attack, but once the Orange have touched the ball, you can't be in the attack anymore. Only your direct play. So then you out of the attack. All right. Good play, guys. Now, listen, we're going to try that again. Let's just swap over. Yeah, midfielders stay as they are, but... The orange team are going to kick towards towards Alex. The yellow team are going to kick towards the small goals. Okay, let's try that for five minutes. Rem remember... <clears throat> okay, and remember guys, what we want to do is we want to play out from the back. We want to structured build up from the back, playing through the middle to the, to the forward zone, to the th final third. Play out from the back, structured build up through the middle. Okay, play. Okay. Two v three. Two v three. Okay, Leo outside the quadrant now. Okay, Lando, join the attack. Use your player. 
Shoot. Good guy, okay, good goal. Start from the back. Play it from the back, guys, and open up. Create space. Use the PDE. It's 3v2, keep playing. It's good, force the attack. Okay, from the back. Join your tackle, Lando. You've got him. Good play, well done. Start from the back, from the back. Join your attack, Ermi, join your attack. Okay, good goal. All right, two more minutes, guys. Two more minutes. Oh, all right, guys, that's it. Excellent. That's a great play. We forced the attack. We did uh, 1v1, even though we didn't score there. The whole idea is to get into a scoring opportunity well, let's go. Get a and the build up that's it we're done for this guys just just a quick one if I have a minute so was everyone everyone want to jump in thanks guys that was a great session just uh, I wanted to know if there was any questions and everyone's clear on that and is there any feedback I guess from what we could have done differently or added or taken away Anyone got any? Yeah. Maybe smoother transition. Smoother transition. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Did you think the the play was good to join the trans join the attack? I know we needed it a couple times, yeah. Ermi. All right. Um, so any any other questions or? But it got kind of like stagnant a little bit. Like like when the midfielder passed it to the wing, it was a bit stagnant. Like in the middle? Kind of, no, like in the wing it was kind of stagnant. Like when you when when the midfielder passed it to the wing, like just stops in the middle. Bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, that's good. That's good advice too. You know what? That's it's still a good outcome though because even though you say it was stagnant, lucky had the ball there, whatever, the thing is we're forcing the 1v1 and that's exactly what we want to do here with our core skills. It's the first touch we're playing, um, the running with the ball and the 1v1 striking the ball. So I think we, we covered all the elements and we structured, structured build-up from the back line. So thank you very much, guys. Appreciate well done, it. Dave. Great session. Well done, Thank Dave. you. Well done. Thanks, guys.